Okay, we get the bougie British magazines like a month late. So this is British Vogue. And I think I want to do something really fun. Ooh, I love her eyes. Those make good crowns or necks. Oh, I think I've actually used her on that. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. So this might have a little bit of nudity because it's British. Look how big her eyes are. And they'll say things wrong. They'll put things like they'll put random S's here and there. Editor's letter. Kristen McNamee. I've used her. She has a great face. Those are cute little rings. Oh, there's Julia. Our friend Julia is in the magazine. And I will skip over um, nudity so you don't have to worry in case your kids are around. Or your grandkids like I have. My kids have seen nudity but my little emmy i don't want her Ooh, look oh my goodness could you imagine if you were wandering around in a rainbow outfit how fun would that be i would do it i wouldn't have done it in my teens or 20s though so interesting oh spotted they look like dalmatians h and m Okay, okay. Let's see what we have. We need something big, either for a head or a middle. I've been doing fun things with middles. I don't know if this will be before or after my canvas product project project. But I am feeling a little um, pressured because now I could print these out and put them on like a planner cover or something. <sighs> I'm all extra now. Right. Not very many big heads. Ooh, what's this? Is there a flappy? Oh, look, it's a flappy. I don't know what that means, but I, oh, there's another flappy, but I do like a flappy. Oh, look, he's saying something. Does it keep going? No, I don't know. No, nope. no more flappies. That was it. It's like a, like a, like a junk journal. I like it. Oh, there we go. Those are good big eyes. And I'm sorry if you hear lots of, well, I'm a little bit sorry if you hear lots of basketballs. Josie's um, out playing basketball with his friends. So we have a teeny bit of basketball bap, bap, bap noise. But he lives here too, so we got to let him play his basketball games. I haven't found good arms. I haven't good found good feet. I'm starting to feel a little nervous. Okay. Okay. Whew. It's getting a little scary. She's got very long, um, like black and white hair. Oh, I love her, sh her legs. Okay. So I love her legs. Let's put a pin in her legs. We just got Adidas, um, Johnny just got an Adidas tracksuit for Emmy, and it's just the cutest thing. We are ridiculous. I don't know if you know this, but my granddaughter Emmy has five first-time grandparents between us and her. Um, well, I kind of love her jacket, her outfit. Okay, we're going with her outfit. That is amazing. Do we have anything else so far? Oh, and the the shoes. Okay. All right. Tracksuit shoes. Oh, I'm feeling a little bit better. 
but I need a face. How big are those eyes going to be on that face? Maybe a little too big. I need either a little bit bigger face or a little bit smaller face to put those eyes on. Oh, there we go, there's a face. How big are these eyes on that face? Oh, this is perfect, great. I love her face. She has a very square face. She might have to be in the tall journal. All right, now I need a hat. I need a hat. Oh, this is gonna be some good border. So we got some uh, teal border. Looks like he's wearing all kinds of different outfits. Okay, so we need a hat for her and some border. And those friends are too little. Look how little those friends are. But I would have a friend. Why are these all so small? It's too small. Oh my goodness, hold on, let me get past the tiny stuff. Tiny. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I could use a hat. And when I say a hat, it could be anything. It could be a, um, like I just made a teapot hat. I have used peaches for a hat. So anything could be a hat, but it has to be interesting. It can't just be a hat, because that's not fun. Now this could be a little tougher, because these guys have very sincere, like they're hardcore fashion, so there's not as much other stuff in these magazines. She would have been a great face too. See this little section here? Okay. Now see, I could cut out that hat, but that wouldn't be very fun. I want something different to be a hat. What else did I say I needed? I have a body, oh, a border, and we have some teal going. So we could use a hat and some teal. Keep your eyes peeled for me. Ooh, that's very pretty. Okay, I have a feeling maybe a hat will come in heat. No, no hat. So we could use a, oh, maybe, here, let's go back up to the front because a lot of times we could find a hat that's in the advertisements, right? So sometimes that's easier. Okay. All right, I have used that before, but I feel like I used it before, so I don't know if I want to use it again. But if that, if I'm stuck with that, with some fun things sticking out of it, may, oh, that's a pretty hat. Okay, I can do this ring only because I have this pretty, like, gem to put on it. Oh, I wonder if that's part of those thicker papers so that d or so we're going to use that is there anything else exciting that jumps to mind Ooh, what's that see if those mushrooms were bigger i would love a mushroom being cleaving our our pals is always good these little tiny rings are always good. What are we doing with her head? Yeah, I don't want a whole bunch of, I want a, a better hat. Let's see if we can make a hat nice. See, I feel like we could maybe do something with that as a hat. All right, I think we got lots of good stuff for a hat. All right, we'll go back through. Possible hat stuff. Possible hat stuff, hat stuff, background. I think uh, Maxie was barking when I pulled that. Eyes for our face. Gonna use those legs. I'm gonna use this body. 
Oh, and that's it. Okay. All right. I'm going to cut these out, and I will be back. I'm nearly done with this journal, so we are going to now start doing the first page we find working back. So we're going to start with the Vogue and everything I cut out last night. Boop. And we're going to make it work on the pages that we get to. So I know sometimes we might want a taller one, but we don't get to do it. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's all good background. Okay, so here's what we have thus far for this gal. We have her face. So let's do the things that are important. We have her face. I'll probably flip her eyes around. We have her dress, but I kind of feel like it's super long. Um, and we have her pants. So even with breaking her neck, if we cut off her, let's cut off her pants, because we could always glue it back on if we wanted to. Or excuse me, cut off her dress. I probably will cut it a little bit cleaner than that. And give her funny legs. And let her keep her head. Okay, let's see what we can do for her head. We could put that off to the side, right? Oh, that's good, because that'll keep it going this way. We don't need a huge neck and I feel like I can take her neck off now. There we go. There we go. There we go, there we go. Oh, she's cute like that. Okay, so we could even cut off a little bit of that. And then we could have her, okay, let's tidy up her skirt place. And I'm gonna cut around her finger. So I find the more details I put in, um, the more it, helps sell the weird concept. So we're gonna go around her belt buckle, we're gonna go around her thumbs. We're gonna come up to this kind of belt and cut off that pointy bit. Okay, here we go. All right, so we've got her body and her head. I was thinking we could use this kind of silvery bit as a scarf, maybe. If we're gonna put silver all around, maybe. I don't know, let me clean this up a tiny bit. And if you, I don't have my Tim Holtz snips here somewhere. I'm sure they're here. Um, but any little scissors, like, like I would always pick my Tim Holtz snips, but any little scissors are gonna help you to make better cuts. We could do that as a neck, like a neckerchief on there. So let's think of that, like a jaunty thing. All right, she needs much shorter legs. We've got her eyes that we're gonna do. Oh, and don't forget, she's actually gonna be on this side. Oh, we, I guess we could put her on this side. This I don't need. I have a bunch of fun like gold bits and silver bits. So this one, I feel like we could cut off straight like this. Garbage, her skirt is garbage now. So I have this too. I almost feel like I want to cut off her 
hair, or at least some of her hair. Let's give her a, a trim. Bring that down a little bit. I mean, I don't know it saved us too much because it's basically based on how, oh, maybe. And we could cut part of that off. All right, I think I'm gonna put that on her neck right now. So we're gonna cut off the top of this medicine bottle. And we're gonna glue this on. Oh good, we saved a little bit of neckage. Nouveau glue, my fave. And I call this making paper dolls, where I um, put the person together, not on the magazine collage, but separately. And the reason I do that is because in the past, I would do it on the page and then I would be unhappy with how the next came out or whatever. All right, so let's, next thing we can do is we can totally put her on here and gain a tiny bit, right? Because we don't need that whole top. And it's not me that calls it breaking their necks. It's Diane Reevely who says when you cut off their heads like that, you're breaking their necks. Okay, we're gonna give her a little trim over here. I usually don't keep any of their hair. I'm being very nice today. Okay, so she's right here. Here's her doodad. I like that there's lots of silver. Okay, so we can have shorty legs. So we can cut these off at the knee for sure. They're not gonna be any longer than that. So her little running pant shoes. Oh, those are cute. I kind of feel like this could be what she could stand on. I don't know about the rest of this yet. I feel like with two of these, they're crying out to be giant earrings, maybe? Or giant bracelets? Ooh, what if they're giant bracelets? Like hanging down? Would you understand that? I don't think you'd understand. You and I would know what it was. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do so that we can get actually started on this is do the border. We're gonna use this real pretty teal to start with for sure. Ooh, look at that fun piece. That's a good piece right there. Okay. So we're gonna make a border. And some of you gals said you like seeing the border. So, I mean, it's just gonna be real quick anyways, but a lot of times I'll cut it out. But I will leave it in today since you asked super nice. All my peeps are nice. I am so lucky. I just have the best people who watch my videos. Okay, light stuff I tend to put at the top um, because in the world, light things are at the top and dark things like, you know, the ground are on the bottom. 
So let's do that. Not preciously. See, I like when my border is not even. Ooh, this could go. Oh, I don't, but I, what I don't like is when my piece is cut badly. So, so. Oh, there you go. Nice. All right, what else do we have that's cute? Ooh, this is cute. I like a nice raggedy edge. See how that edge is raggedy from tearing it out of the magazine? Ooh, this is a pretty piece. Okay, 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 okay. And then I have some fun stuff that I can um, add to this because I have this gal. This is a lady's um, dress that's super pretty, right? Let's take this nice big piece and put that down here. I really only have a couple minutes. Um, I hear people all the time saying they don't have time to make art. Well, today I have to post a video for you lot. I have to talk to my friend, or I get to talk to my friend Barbara Grassi this morning, which is exciting. I love her. I make time for my friends. I am super enthralled with a project to do a planner cover that I'm working on that is a planner cover and a pocketbook. And you may or may not have seen those already. I never know what order these are going to get done in. Ooh, look at this. This is pretty. I like this very much. So we could use ooh, that going all the way. Oh, look, we have a whole thing going on over here. We have like a whole situation with this thing. I like it. And don't forget, your um, your border is just to kind of ground the piece and to give you something so it's not just some bizarre lady with a tracksuit on in the middle of the page. You just want it to be a little bit cute, right? Right. We're not trying to make art out of... Ooh, that's a pretty piece. Um, right there. We're not trying to make art out of the background. We're trying to make art out of the magazine collage. And the background is just a fun little thing that adds spice to it. Okay, there we go. Little piece in there make it interesting do we need a piece over here to make it interesting and if so do, oh we have that really pretty blue oh I hear kitty yelling I wrote a blog post about how to make how to help your kitties talk to you and then I thought I am an idiot kitty talks to me all the time she's got so many things to say Alright, I don't keep border pieces ever. Um, I have so many magazines. I have so many borders that I could use. Alright, let's... Ooh, what if happens if we do that? <gasps> kind of like that better. It's a little fancier. Ooh, could we then put this... Oh, it looks like little horns. I'm so for sure going to do that. Okay. So, I need to, so if we're making this horns, I need to cut off kind of here. Oh, and I don't have to cut that off. Do I have to cut that off? I do have to cut that off. And I need to cut off a little bit over here. And we can glue this together. Look at us gluing stuff like crazy people. And if you don't want to get glue on your stuff, don't glue on your stuff. I glue on my stuff all the time. And I have little glue patches. Oops. Must go this way. Must go this way. 
I have little glue patches everywhere because I do that. See, glue patches. If you don't want glue patches, which will color your black background, um, then don't glue on your stuff. Ooh, that's sweet. I love that. Okay, so now we have to make this match the big enough to hold my horns. Uh-oh, nope. We got a step before this because I want her eyes to be below her horns. Um, let's cut a little nibble off of here because we don't want them to be too big. And then I twist them around and make them sad. When I say I'm making sad eyes, I flip their eyes and then it turns them down because most people's eyes have a little lilt to the to them when they're the right way around. But my gals, a lot of times, will have sad eyes. There we go. Perfect. And then let's see if this glue is still wet enough to, oh, it's wet. Okay, here we go. Well, I think that even let us cheat this coming down a little bit more. Nice. Ooh, that's fun. Okay. Well, now I want to keep her horns. So maybe we move her over a little bit. All right. I kind of want her arms to be straight. I like her arms that way. All right. Does she have little tiny legs? Oh, I think she has little tiny legs. Okay, I'm going to glue this on down here for her to stand on. Okay. Okay, and I want to get her as long a legs as possible. So we'll go right to like there. Oh. You know what I can do is I can cut off this black, oh my gosh, I'm dealing in centimeters here, people. And I don't even do metric. Just trying to get this thing as high up as it can go. Okay. So if I did this, I get to see a lot more of her legs, which I think is the cute part of her. I'm not gonna worry about my second horn. I'm going to have to let it go because if I do this, let's see where our bottom is. Don't cut your, don't cut glue with your good scissors like I do. I like her little legs. It makes me smile. Do we want to put this around her body? Uh-oh. I feel like that helps her little legs transition, don't you? I think I like that. I think I love you. I think I love you. Okay, so I'm gonna glue the under there. We are getting ready to have a whole bunch of stuff that isn't stuck down. So now I'm gonna glue her arm onto that. I'm gonna glue this arm onto that. I'm gonna turn this over and see this whole back of this thing wouldn't have been glued down. And the reason why it matters is because if it's not glued down flat and straight, then eventually, somewhere in your collage, I promise you, stuff will go wrong. Things will go horribly awry. Okay, this is the way her leggies go. Oh. What if we did this, and then I don't have to worry about the bump? I'm going to put this all... I'm thinking I'm gluing my hair in here. I'm going to put this all the way down at the bottom. So now I can put my feet all the way down at the bottom. Ooh, I like how those are. That is how I'm going to do my feet, right there. And then we'll 
fix her to them. I think I love... Oh my God, the Partridge family's stuck in my head now. I don't think that's okay. And I'm singing to you guys again, which I said I wasn't going to do this year because of the humiliation factor. Okay, who did you like? Which of the Partridge family did you like? Did you like a ginger? Did you like David Cassidy? I was David Cassidy, of course. Okay, so how much of his her little leggies can I get in there? Well, I kind of like that. Okay, now I'm going to glue this all down. I'll be right back. All right, I'm going to get up, as much of that up at the top as I can. without being crazy about it. There we go. And that's where she's going down. That is it. Okay, so I have two little pieces. I think those detract from her because they call to them. So we're not gonna put those in, but everything else went in mostly. So that is um, her. I'm going to doodle her. The, oh, see? Look, there's pieces that are not glued down. Um, I'm going to doodle her this afternoon in what is my favorite thing that my job is to doodle. So I'll be back. Okay, so this is the bougie British Vogue January 2022. And I just think she turned out so cool darn cute. I did a lot to her. And she's the one that was um, on the community tab that I showed you before. Um, just when I had just painted her, like when I had just outlined and then when I had just painted and then a little bit more painting. And then I figured you'd see the end of her in the video. So I painted spots on her um silver i painted her hair pink and then did shading eyes her eyes were green but i made them giant eyes angry eyebrows i love an angry eyebrow um dot dash all the way around i painted her buttons which did not stand out i painted her sleeves with um like a kind of you can't maybe tell it but it's kind of shiny paint and then I put um, India ink highlights on it. I love her little legs. And then I love the spots I made. And I actually built that heel because it wasn't there. Um, so I love her. Hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Artsy Fartsy Life.